everybody and welcome back to the mage playthrough. It's finally time my friends. We have the hallow biome on the right hand side here and today my friends we're hopefully going to be taking down the first of the hard mode bosses Queen Slime. In the last episode, of course, we got ourselves massively geared up. We have full adamantite mage armor. We've got ourselves the spirit flame and also some vastly upgraded wings. The frozen wings. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about my chances today. But what we need to do first of all, of course, is to head down into the hollow and pick up some gelatin crystals. While we make our way down here, I do, of course, want to say an enormous thank you for all of your lovely support throughout this series so far my friends especially lately after the little break i took i really appreciate all of your support massively so of course do keep those likes rolling in if you want to continue supporting this series consider subscribing if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content and of course if you do want to go on further with your support you can use code python when ordering any of my apex gaming pcs for a whopping 15 percent off until the 21st of july 2023 or you can head on over to terraria.shop and use code python for 15% off your terraria merch orders as well so then check it out already got one gelatin crystal i'm gonna go for maybe three maybe five at a bit of a stretch depends on how long it takes really and it also depends on whether or not i'm going to die a whole bunch as well um i wasn't paying attention to my health at all there and i just let the icy merman just absolutely destroy me maybe we could kill several birds with one stone here my friends if we're picking up these here crystal shards and a bunch of souls of light we could make the crystal storm might not be a bad idea because i always remember that bad boy being kind of nice in early hard mode so yeah could be an idea i think it's 15 souls of light and then 20 of these crystal shards oh that is a beautiful sight two gelatin crystals in my vision right now there might be even more, but I'm just hyper-focusing on these two right here. Uh-huh. Okay, very good. We have ourselves five gelatin crystals. The only thing we need now is a bunch more souls of light. So, yeah, let's go get ourselves 15 souls of light, and then we'll just about be good to go, my friends. Ah, dear. I got myself stuck in the water. There was a green jellyfish. I didn't even see the anglerfish, so, um... Yeah, there's possibly an easier way for us to get the souls of light. Maybe we head on down to the underworld here and we stick to the top of the underworld where there is some underground hollow. Excellent. All right, we've got ourselves everything we need for the crystal storm. So all we got to do is head on over to the wizard's house here where the bookshelf now is. And ladies and gentlemen, there it is. The Crystal Storm. Ho oh, ho ho, snappers. If RNG is on our side, we're going to get mythical, masterful, or mystic. First time on the Crystal Storm. Boom. Plus mana cast. Oh, you just hate to see it. There's not even any damage buffs on this thing, man. Ah, what a load of poo that is. I can't even reforge this. Ah. Okay, I mean, to be honest, for the most part, I think we're going to wind up using the Spirit Flame against Queen Slimeroo. So, I think all we need to do is start grabbing ourselves some arena buffs and bits and bobs. And, uh, yeah, we should just about be able to do this, I hope. So, ladies and gentlemen, how about some buff potions in preparation for this thing, eh? We're going to have ourselves a little bit of thorns. I'm thinking magic power and mana regen, iron skin swiftness and finally of course regular regen yeah sounds like a good way to go okay what about some sort of buff here we have two things that give major stats we're gonna go with a stake because why not and yeah we should be just about all right to do this thing all right nicely lit up area this place is indeed hallowified so ladies and gentlemen let's do this thing oh man don't really know how this is going to wind up going. Although, with that said, we did just do an enormous chunk of damage. Oh, yeah. You love to see that, don't you? Right. I mean, the fact of the matter is this. As this guy continues to move to the left here. Yeah. We are doing uh, damage. <laughs> 
All right, so far so good with the good old spirit flame or spirit lamp, whatever the hell it's called. Spirit flame, that's what it's called. Okay, right, I need to remember that because I've been doing a pretty poor job of remembering that. All right, come on now. Yeah, doing lots of damage here, my friends. Absolutely love to see it, though. Brilliant. All right, and here we are in second phase already, would you believe? Right. Ah, a little bit of side-to-side -side action may just be the way to go with this. Because as you switch sides, yeah, all of the little projectiles essentially sort of catch up, don't they? Uh huh. All right, 10,000 health. The only thing is we are slightly low on health here. Maybe we could use a little bit of uh, Crystal Storm here. And simultaneously try to keep our distance here. 5,000 health left. I'm doing so much better than I thought I would. This is incredible, actually. Genuinely thought this would be way more of a headache. And I'm dead. Well, I spoke too soon, didn't I? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I should have had that. <laughs> I should have just kept on roaming to the left, dude. Oh, what a waste of buffs, though. Should have had that. I definitely spoke way too soon, didn't I? <laughs> I seem to be gaining that as a bit of a habit, aren't I? Well, gosh freaking down. I really should have had that. That guy had less than 3,000 health left. Come on! I mean, we're not going to mess around. We're just going to go ahead and do this thing again. Because, I mean, why wouldn't we? Wait, where is this gal? She's way over here. Oh, there she is. Hey, how's it going? Come on now. Do a little bit of jumpy jump action. Come over here. There we are. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Doing lots of damage. You love to see it. I do love this spirit flame. It does do a very, very good amount of damage, doesn't it? Like, truly, it's kind of mind-boggling. And I kind of love it. So for all of you guys who are going on about it in the comments area... Thank you very much. The best thing about the Spirit Flame, I think, is the fact that it's got homing projectiles. So not only will it home in on the boss itself, it also homes in on all of her cronies as well. Which certainly makes things a lot easier, doesn't it? We don't have to worry too much about taking down the cronies. All we need to do is just sort of keep our distance. And eventually the homing projectiles will do their job. Yeah, baby. All right, come on. I think now is the time where we do a little bit of side to side. Yeah, look at that. Man, that health bar just absolutely drains, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Right, let's keep a close eye on our health because we don't have the most amount of it in the world right now. A little bit more spirit flame. Yeah, okay, very cool. And we've got our health back, would you believe? Yeah, excellent. Okay, come on, come on. We've almost got this gal in the bag. And make that present tense. We have got her in the bag. She is done and dusted, my friends. Heck yeah. Hey, hey. I mean, second time going, I could have easily done it the first time, but I got a bit ahead of myself, didn't I? So, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with the Crystal Assassin armor, or at least two bits of it. We've got the Gelatinous Pillion, a new mount which we can use. The Hook of Dissonance, which allows you to teleport to the location, as opposed to being pulled along. Pretty cool. Uh, but in terms of mage weaponry... We haven't got anything, which is unfortunate. Does he even drop a mage weapon? Well, 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 I've learned something new today, my friends. It turns out Queen Slime does not drop any mage weaponry, which is unfortunate. The only weapon she drops, would you believe, is actually the Blade Staff, which is, of course, a summon weapon, which is something we're not allowed to use. So, yeah, believe it or not, we are actually free to move straight on to the first of the mech bosses, if we so wish. Ooh, better healing potions. Yeah, 150. That is way more like it. Do we really need to go for the Crystal Assassin armor? I'm going to go with the answer. 
of no. Because it's not really mage specific, is it? So, yeah, I don't really have too many issues with just getting rid of that. So then, what do we think, my friends? Is it time to go for the goal of getting the golden shower? I think it may be, you know. What we need to do, very simply, is just farm out some souls of night. We've got the icon we need already. So then, my friends, let's go ahead and do this thing. If we are really, really lucky, we could try and push it and try to defeat one of the mech bosses. The only summon we have at the moment is a summoner for the destroyer. But here's the thing, my friends. We have a Nimbus Rod, which, as I've described before, is usually enough to take down the destroyer in one go. So, uh, yeah. Could be an interesting time. But anyways, we're down here in the underworld once again, and we're going to do a bit of soul farming. Alrighty, I believe that was the final soul of night I needed. Yep, 15. Excellent. Alright, time to make our second book weapon of the episode, my friends. The Golden Shower. Something which is probably going to carry us throughout the entire rest of the game. Here it is. Bada bing, bada boom. It's already got a decent damage modifier on it as well. I don't mind damage modifiers that don't have mana modifiers, but if it's a damage modifier that increases your mana cost, then no, I'm not a big fan of that. Hey, Mystic Nimbus Rod, that is excellent. And now we've got plus crit chance with the Crystal Storm. That's not overly bad, I would say. The thing is, though, we're going to have to retire another mage weapon. It might just about be time, I'm afraid, to put the Aqua Scepter away. I tell you what, that weapon with the 1.4.4 buffs is excellent. I cannot recommend enough that you guys start to use this again if you haven't in a fair while. It is such a great weapon, and I really appreciate you guys turning my attention to it, because it is. It really is a great weapon. So what do we think, my friends? The Destroyer to finish off today's episode? I think that could be a pretty cool idea. I've got myself a summoner right here after all, so why don't we use it? I mean, normally the destroyer isn't the first one you take down, but history tells me that it is for me, because usually as soon as I get a Nimbus Rod, that is it. I feel confident enough to take down the destroyer, even in master mode. So yeah, my friends, to finish off the episode, we're going to give the destroyer a really good attempt. And I tell you what, we're actually going to use the same arena. We're going to go right back to the Icy Hollow Arena. Oh yeah! We have this other thing now, don't we? Called a Crystal Ball. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Probably would have done us justice throughout the Queen Slime fight, but I think that's neither here nor there at this point, my friend. She is down, and we are moving on to the next boss, so, um, yeah, here we go. Heart Lantern, Star in a Bottle, and I'm going to go put this on the left-hand side here. So there we are, Clairvoyance. Magic powers are increased. I'd like to do a little bit of a damage comparison. 46 without, 48 with. With the Spirit Flame, it's 143 with and 138 without. I mean, it's a minimal amount of damage increase, but it starts to stack up over time, doesn't it? So, at this point, I've got time to kill. So, um, I mean, what do I even do? I mean, this is probably a big enough arena for the Destroyer. So, yeah, maybe I just sleep the rest of the day away. <laughs> Oh, and also make sure I've got myself a nice bit of buff food here. There we have it. Excellent. Okay, it is night time, my friends. Let's make sure we've got all of our buffs on. We're going to make sure we have a Nimbus Rod going on as well. Ladies and gentlemen, the Destroyer. We are just going to get straight on with this thing. No dilly-dallying, just getting straight on with it. Look at that, already doing a ridiculous ton of damage. Which is very nice to see, I must say. Might we use the golden shower just for a little bit? Wait, is this guy's defense even being sliced? Oh, I'm dead. What? Turns out everybody does crazy amounts of damage. It doesn't help that we've got regular dudes circling us. Man. I was semi-distracted by those folks. But to be honest, I kind of threw away that attempt, didn't I? I wasn't really paying attention to a great deal of stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm not really very happy with that as an attempt. But the thing is, I don't really have the ability to make myself a summoner. <laughs> Come on, I should have had 
that? There's no reason why I couldn't have had that, man. Ah, you know what? Heart reach potions might actually be a good idea for this fight. So, got myself a couple more summoners here, finally. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a few more of these here buff potions. And we're basically going to give this another go. I'm absolutely convinced that I could do this. We already took a third of his health down in the first attempt. And that was me not even really paying attention or taking it seriously. So, um... Yeah, should be able to do a better job this time. <laughs> oh, I'm not even entirely sure that the golden shower was even working against the destroyer there. Normally, you can see when a mob is affected. Like, for example, that guy there. You see that? He's got a slightly yellowish tinge to him. That's how you can tell they've got the little defense debuff. But I didn't see that with any of the segments on the destroyer. I mean, it's very possible I just didn't notice it, but I don't know. Maybe I just need to focus on doing damage and making sure these here Nimbus Rods are constantly here. Boom. A little bit of that, a little bit of this, and away we go. Let's do this thing again, my friends, and this time I'm going to take it just a little bit more seriously, okay? So let's see what we can do. Good old Spirit Flame is doing uh, damage, which is excellent. The fact that the Spirit Flame projectile homes in is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, baby. Doing damage. Okay. Okay, this guy's already about a quarter of the way down. Absolutely tanking this guy like a professional right now. Look at that damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm thinking we make sure that the clouds are high up enough to the point where even if the destroyer comes up high, we don't have to worry too much about it, okay? So let's try to see if we can get him to come up here. There we are. That's right, doing all the damage. This guy's about halfway done. 153,000 health in master mode. That's what this guy has? Man, is that some craziness? Right, come on. We're getting there, though, aren't we? Hell yeah. Right. Whoa. I didn't want to get hit by the head, but equally, what I wanted to try and do was try to beat him. You know, beat him is in, like, speed beat him. I didn't want him to be wrecking me, but I'll tell you what is actually happening right now. I'm wrecking him. He's dead. <laughs> well, my friends... There you have it. I'm so confident we're going to do it again because screw it. Who knows? Maybe by us taking this guy down twice today, maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to make myself the beautiful hallowed armor. I think that would be a mighty dang fine idea indeed. 120,000 health. Okay, okay. We're a little bit low on health ourselves, but we can just about heal, which is great. I just need to keep my distance, basically. And allow myself to regen my mana a little bit at a time. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, this really is just a kind of side-to-side -side dealio, isn't it? <laughs> I am absolutely loving this Spirit Flame weapon. If you can't tell already, I have been singing raves about it all today, haven't I? And for good reason. It is excellent. Just by every stretch of the imagination, it is an excellent weapon. I'm so thankful for you guys suggesting that I make this thing. It's just amazing. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, I want to marry this weapon, dude. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Lots and lots and lots of things going on here. But I don't think it matters a great deal because this guy, once again, is dead. There you go. I thought I was going to die that time, but um, I didn't. So I'm going to take solace in that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Queen Slime and the Destroyer take it down in one episode. If that doesn't deserve a like, I simply don't know what does. The question right now is this. How many bars do we need for a full set of Hallowed Armor? We've got 12 plus 24, which is what? 36 plus 18, which is 54. We need three more Hallowed Bars. Can you believe that, man? Oh, the annoying thing is, if we had taken down the Destroyer first time, we would have had enough Hallowed Bars. Ah, oh, isn't that annoying? If only I took the first attempt seriously. Gosh darn it. 
<laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's action-packed, boss ponage filled episode, do be sure to head down beneath the video, spend a second to drop a like. I'd really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But yeah, there you go. Two hard mode bosses in one episode. Oh man, are we surging our way through this series. If you can't tell already, I'm actually really enjoying this series. I love the mage class. It is my second favorite class of all time. Mostly because of the variety of weapons you can get. Book weapons, you've got weird and wonderful weapons like spirit flames, nimbus rods, flower of fires, and other flower related weapons. I just love the mage class. I think it's fantastic. And I'm hoping that by you guys watching this series, maybe you'll be inspired to do a mage playthrough of your own. It really is a fun way to play the game. So, my friends, thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for all of your wonderful support. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.